What's up guys, welcome to a new video of Fisherman Connor. Today I'm gonna to be explaining how you can get a complete bass set up with your um, like lures, poles, everything for $200. In this I'm gonna be showing different um, lures and uh, I have two different poles that I got within within this $200 budget. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to talk about my tackle box. I have um, other tackle boxes, but uh, just for this video, I'm going to keep it cheap because this is not really one of the most important things you need. It's just something to carry yourself around, obviously. And you don't even have to get a tackle box. You can just use an old book bag or whatever you have. But I went ahead and just got this. It was from uh, Walmart. It was only $10. And uh, it come with uh, two boxes. I already have some stuff in this box. So I'll go over what I have in here already later it was mostly stuff that came from that uh, mystery tackle box if y'all watched my last video um i mean they're just they're not really expensive boxes but i mean for ten dollars you can't beat them and it comes with the comes with the bag you can take these little slots out if you got bigger lures it just depends and uh both of the boxes are the exact same so i'm not even going to show y'all the other box um there is a big pocket in the front I'd recommend putting like soft plastics and stuff in there. Um, in the side, there's like a, a pouch that you could like put a drink or something in. Right here, you can put your knives or any multi-tool or anything that you have. And the same pocket on this side. So you just have a bunch of pockets that you can put hooks, anything in. You have more than just one main pocket. So yeah, that's it for the um, tackle box. Okay, so um, for the fishing poles, we have a... Uh, I got a spinning combo and a bait casting combo. I'll show you in just a second. Um, my spinning combo is a 6.6 um, medium. It is a Daiwa Samurai. You can get this from Field and Streamer Dicks for, um, they're $30, but you can get two for 40. I went ahead and just got one because I didn't need another one. And uh, I mean, I've used this one time. It seems like it's uh, pretty sturdy, nice. I mean, the reel feels smooth. Um, I have a 12 pound test on it. I'd recommend only putting like eight pound test on it. I'm about to change it because it is a medium and it's only 6.6. But uh, yeah, and uh, you can look right here and there's the um, all the links and stuff you need to know about it. And this is a Daiwa Samurai, just let y'all know. Um, our next pole, I just bought yesterday, never used it. And uh, I'd recommend for y'all to get two different poles, a bait caster and a spinning. Because they're spinning, it's going to be more of like soft plastics. Your bait casting, you can use frog and stuff. Um, this is a uh, Bill Dance Edition, uh, Quantum Rod, Rod and Reel. It has a 6'6", medium heavy. Um, I, I got this at Bass Pro for $70. It was actually $69 something. And um, it's like really smooth. I really like it. Uh, it looks good. There's the reel. And the rod is gray color. The reel's gray, obviously. Then you got you, your nice handle back here. Um, it's a three bearing system. I'd recommend if you did get anything, get one with more bearings. But uh, this is good for if you're just trying to stay under $200. So yeah, it's $70, you can't really beat it. Looks nice, it's a one piece. Um, there's all your, your specs and stuff right here. It's a fast action. And uh, yeah, next we're gonna be talking about um, all the lures I would recommend for you to get to start off and keep it under $200. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start um, with talking about uh, the lures. Um, first, I got a uh, Yum Dinger. These are like $2.50 or something like that. I think they're a little, they might be a little bit more than that, but um, yeah, you get eight in a pack. Um, I got four packs to start out with. Uh, especially if you're a beginner fisherman, this is gonna be one of the easiest things you can catch fish on. I know people that have never even fished in their life go out and catch fish on these. So yeah, they're, they're gonna be, especially if you're a beginner, I would recommend for you to get at least four packs of these if you're gonna fish a bunch. And you're gonna need different colors. Um, the first color I got was a uh, smoke red pepper. Um, I'm gonna take it out and let y'all see it. It's like a, like a cloudy-ish gray with like red and black flakes in it. Um, 
I recommend for you to get the uh, the five inch, but uh, they also have four inch. But I, all mine are five inches. Um, you can use them with like a Texas rig, wacky worm, Carolina rig. I'd recommend using them Texas rig or wacky worm though. Um, you can you use like a three aught or a four aught hook. You can use five aught, but I think five aught's too big, especially for the five inch. So yeah, that's uh, the smoked red pepper five inch dinger. The next dinger we have is a uh, Carolina, um, it's like it got a chartreuse tail. I don't know what the um, what it's actually called, but it has a chartreuse tail. It's like brown. It has some uh, black flakes in it. Um, it's yum, same price as the other ones. They're all five inches, like I said earlier. So it has a nice, nice tail. You often will see that uh, bass like to just bite the tail off. So that's the only problem with these is they like going for the chartreuse. But if you see that, I would recommend also getting a pack of dingers that are like chartreuse because if you see that, then I would just throw the chartreuse finger. But anyway, that's those. Um, our next dinger is a uh, watermelon red flake. This is probably the, my favorite color. Um, they're the same price as the other ones, obviously. And I'll show you these up close out of the bag when I get them open. There's like green, red flake. Yeah, my favorite color right here. And then, um, I've never used this color before, but it looks like uh, they didn't have the baby bass. And I think this is like as close as you're gonna get to a baby bass color without it being baby bass. And it's the smoke pearl color. It's a, uh, it has a white bottom. It's also a five inch dinger. It has a, a white bottom, gray top, has some little flakes in it. Yeah, it's basically the baby bass color if you've ever fished with baby bass. But yeah, I think they changed their color name a little bit. And then, um, yeah, that's all for the dingers. And I'll be right back with y'all with the next clip. Um, we're gonna start out with the rest of my soft plastics that are not worms. Um, first off, we got a lizard. I got a green pumpkin red flake. These are really cheap. They're like $2.20. Um, they give you a 12 pack. These are like the baby lizards and not the full size lizards. Um, they're also through yum. It says you can Texas rig them, Carolina rig a jig head. Uh, I would just Texas rig them. I don't. I don't really mess with Carolina rigs, so yeah, I would just Texas rig them if I was y'all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take one other pack and show you. And they got little appendages, they look like a lizard. Green pumpkin red flake, like that worm, that, like the one worm was. So yeah, like I said, my favorite color. So I'd recommend getting this a color, and then uh, I'd probably only get one pack of lizards, especially if you're just starting out and you wanna keep it cheap. Um, next off, uh, I have trailers. This is a watermelon seed. It's a uh, jig trailer, or you could a uh, spinner bait. Anything you can put on for a trailer. You could use it by itself too, also. But I'd probably just use it as a trailer. But if you do, you can uh, Texas rig it, and uh, it kind of looks like a crawfish if it was a different color. But it has like the appendages and stuff like a crawfish would. But uh, yeah, it's small. It's a good jig trailer, and these were only like a dollar fifty cents. I'll show you my receipt from Bass Pro when video is over and then I got the same thing I just showed y'all I'm not gonna get this one out of the pack it's just a black and blue uh, so I'd put if you got a green pumpkin jig I'd put that green pumpkin uh, trailer on it if you got a black and blue jig use a black and blue trailer that's just my recommendation but you can do it how y'all want um, next up we have the Cabela's this is a Cabela's brand I got it from Bass Pro though uh, it's a five and a half inch uh, it's called the hoochie coochie it is a um, 10 pack. It's in shad color. Um, and uh, I, I really only, I want to be honest with y'all, I only picked it up because of how cheap it was, but uh, I'm glad I did. It's like a paddle tail swim bait, basically. Really cheap. Uh, I mean, you could use it like in a fluke style, but it does have the paddle tail on it. Like most swim baits, really cheap. Looks nice, looks like a shad. It could also pass as a minnow, yeah.
And I mean, they, they pack this pack like full. Like, so you definitely get your money's worth with that. Next off, we got the um, Ray Swimmer swim bait. Um, this is the 3.75 inch, cause I got the five inch in the Cabela's. Uh, I got white, but you can get any color y'all want. Um, this is ha this has the ribs in it. It has like a gray, like a glitter on it. Uh, it's white or clear. You can really, you can decide what color you want to call it, but I think it's white. Some people say it might be clear. But uh, you could Texas rig this, put it on a swim bait hook, anything like that. And then next up, I got a, um, I showed y'all these. I got them out of my mystery tackle box. So this ain't gonna be on my receipt from Bass Pro. But they're just like those little fluke things. Uh, these are like blue and white and clear. So yeah, I don't, I've never used them. So I can't really tell you much about that. Um, and then I got this from my mystery tackle box. So I'm not really gonna talk about it. Go watch my other video if you wanna know more about this. And yeah, that's all for my soft plastics that I got in the 200. Uh, next is gonna be hard baits. All right, so uh, I also got this out of the mystery tackle box. That's why I didn't buy a jig at mystery tackle box. I mean, at a Bass Pro, but uh, it's a black and blue jig. So like I said, I would put a black and blue trailer on. If you if you don't know how to put a trailer on, you basically just go on your jig hook and uh, just put it through, poke it up, and then just slide it up. And it will, it'll basically look like that when you're done. It can be a little bit better, but I was just trying to do it really fast for y'all. But yeah, that's how you do it. And uh, I would just use the same color that your jig is. And uh, this is just a like a football jig. It's nice, black and blue. Look at my mystery tackle box if you want to know more about this. My mystery tackle box video. Um, my next bait is going to be a square bill. I also got this out. Uh, actually, I don't know if I got this out of the mystery tackle box. But it's um, it got some bright colors on it. Um, I think I got this for my birthday. So it also isn't in there, but uh, all the stuff together, like what it would cost if I didn't, th if I didn't get it or whatever, it, all of this together is gonna be $200 or a little bit less. It's gonna be close to $200. And that's what the video is, is a $200 setup. So yeah, this is just a square reel. Um, I've not caught no fish on it, I've not even used it, but it has nice colors. So yeah, I like that. So I would recommend getting at least one square reel, possibly two. Uh, this is out of my mystery tackle box. I'm not gonna talk about it. If you want to see it, go watch my my other video. You can get the link down below. Next up, uh, I, this has a couple bluegill stuff in it, and uh, you can catch bluegill crappie. You could probably catch bass on this if you really tried, but it really is meant for bluegill. Um, you probably really can't see it. It's small, chartreuse and black. Um, it only has one treble hook because it's so small. But yeah, so if you want to catch some bluegill on lures, then this is what I would recommend. A nice little Crank bait. Um, and last we have a jerk bait. Um, it's really small. Uh, I would get small ones and big ones. I'd only get, like I said, two of them to start out, but uh, I'm just gonna show you one of mine. So yeah, I got a blue, gray um, jerk bait. So yeah, that's that. Uh, next up, uh, now we're gonna start getting stuff that I got from Bass Pro yesterday. Um, I got a lipless crank. This is like um, a whitish, like it can go, as, it don't really have a color on here that it says it is, but I would just say it's like a a light, like light shad color. So it can represent a minnow really, anything. Um, it's a nice size, it ain't too big, it ain't too small. You can catch crappie on this. Um, I don't know if what, what, like what kind of fishing y'all are doing, but this is mostly a bass video, but you can catch bass crappie on this. Um, so yeah, that's my lipless crank bait. Uh, I'd recommend getting two or three of them because like I said, you can catch crappie off of them So especially if you're catching crop if you want you want to fish for crappie, then I would um, This is like a really closer to a shad color lipless crankbait um, My favorite brand of lipless crankbaits are cotton cordell, but Bass Pro had these on sale And like I said for this video, we're gonna keep it cheap. So yeah, this is another crankbait I got Like I said two or three. That's what I would get um, Next up We got this humongous pack of poppers you don't really need this many poppers, but why not when they're on sale? We got uh, six poppers for, um, I think it was $9.99. Uh, they're the tournament, they're the Bass Pro brand tournament series. 
Uh, I'll do a review video on these because I don't know how they're gonna work because I've never used them. But uh, you can get poppers for like $3 a piece, but this is just a cheaper deal, I'm trying to keep it cheap. And there's plenty in here, so you got all kinds of different colors. Oh, uh, you got, you can see you got small ones, big ones. So yeah, that's my, my poppers. $9.99, I'd get you one of them. Um, next up is a bait we got from Walmart. It's just, uh, I'm not a big fan of spinner baits and we're trying to keep it cheap. So I just got the dollar, dollar ones. I'd recommend getting like a chartreuse color or a white color. Um, I don't think the rest of them really work. Unless you're going to look at small mouth fishing, then I'd recommend getting a red one. But I, I usually don't use spinner baits for small mouth. So I would recommend getting like a chartreuse color. Um, the hooks on these are pretty good. I mean, obviously they're cheap. They're not going to be the best. So if you want to spend a little bit more than $200, this is something I would upgrade on. I wouldn't just get this one. And I'd probably get a couple of them if you like spinnerbait fishing. If you're new to it, I would say start. If you're a new fisherman, I wouldn't even use a spinnerbait. I would just stick with soft plastics. But yeah, here's my chartreuse spinnerbait. And I try to get at least one bait of each for y'all. So I got a uh, also a $1 buzz bait from uh, Walmart. You can usually find them. They're all on the bottom shelf of Walmart if you can't find them. That's usually where they're at. They, they have them at like every Walmart. Um, like I said, it's a dollar. It's cheap. It ain't going to be the best, but it is a buzz bait. If you want to learn how to fish a buzz bait, I would just get this just in case you get hung up or something. You don't want to just lose a good buzz bait, especially if you don't know how to fish it. So I would practice on this. And then if you like them, I'd get more I'm trying to keep it cheap. This is how you do it right here. One dollar bait from Walmart. Um, next up we have, I recommend getting a better frog, trying to keep it cheap again. So I got a $2 frog. Um, it's Ozark Trail. Ozark Trail is often a good brand for me, but uh, I don't usually get lures from there. So, yeah, we're gonna. I'll probably do a review video on all the cheaper stuff that we got next time I go fishing, and uh, that that'll probably be up in like within the next month. I'll have a review video about these cheaper lures. Um, this is a 2.5 inch topwater frog. Um, it looks like the skirt on it is a little bit long, so I'd probably trim that up a little bit. Uh, I'd recommend getting at least two or three frogs, but I just got one. Um, because yeah, I just, I'll just get one, but it just depends what you want to do. So yeah, $2 top water frog, natural color frog. Uh, you can get anything. They really only see the bottom of the frog, obviously, because it's top water. So as if it's like a brighter color, that's probably good. I probably wouldn't get like a blue or purple frog because that just makes no sense. So yeah, just get like your green natural color frog. Um, that's all for my like hard bait and lures. Next up, we're gonna be talking about hooks and what else, whatever else I think you should you should get. So, yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about about like extra stuff that you're gonna need is um, hooks. You're gonna need these for all your plastics. Uh, the hooks I got are called Round Bin Worm Hooks. They are uh, by Eagle Call Laser Sharp. They're the Brett Chapman edition. Uh, I got four hot, three hot. I wouldn't recommend getting no bigger than than that because if you if you they have special hooks you can go five out six out but most everything i got you can throw on either a three out or a four out so if you're following my video then you don't need no bigger than a three out or a four out uh, of a regular worm hook and uh if you look on the back they teach you how to do like uh, what your texas rig is going to be and uh yeah so there's 15 in each of these eagle claw 299 a pack um the next one is going to be the Fusion 19 Facet Sharp Hooks. Uh, that's what it says on this thing, if you need to know. Um, they have they come with this, this container that they're in. It's resealable, so you can shut it back if you don't want to take your hooks out. These are uh, the swim bait hooks for uh, those paddle tail swim baits and stuff that I got. You can throw on these. Um, these are 3 aught. You can get 4 aught if you need them. But a three auto work just fine for what I showed you in this video. So yeah, uh, they're they're weighted swim bait hooks. These are like five. I'll just say six dollars. I think they were like five dollars and forty nine cents. Um, next up is going to be a cheaper pack of these are jerk and stick stick bait heads. These are one eighth of an ounce. Uh, it's a five pack. It's basically those uh, Cabela Cabela ones I got with the the shad color. This is what I'm gonna use with them. I mean, there's five. They're weighted. They were like a dollar ninety nine. Um, 
you don't need nothing too fancy for those. So yeah, I got these. Oh, no, no. Keeping it cheap, like I said. Um, I don't know how much y'all like to panfish or whatever. But to complete my setup, I went ahead and just got some panfish hooks. Also got some bobbers and stuff. I just don't have them with me at the moment. Um, you're also gonna need some split shot sinkers. Uh, but that's all you need for a bluegill. If you need, if you have any questions on how to rig up a bluegill setup, just simple bluegill setup, uh, comment and I'll uh, make a new video. But I don't. A lot of y'all can just find that on another channel. But if you need it on mine, I got you. So I just got some size four, cheap panfish hooks. They were like a dollar nineteen. Next up, we have. Um, I'm gonna talk about my line real quick. I got Tony Tough line from Bass Pro, three ninety nine. 275 yards, eight pound test. Um, this is what I'm gonna put on my uh, spinning reel, if you see that in the beginning of the video. So yeah, eight pound, 275 yards. 399, can't beat it. Next up, I got a little bit more expensive line. What I'm gonna put on my um, bait caster, it's 12 pound monofilament. It's clear, it has 330 yards, and this was like 999, but I got a buy one, get one free deal. So I mean, you can't beat it, it was really only $4 a thing for 330 yards and it works pretty good this is what i have on my spinning reel right now but i'm going to change it because it's a little bit too thick for my spinning reel it's a suffix brand it's the elite it says superior superior and a knot strength so it makes your knots a little bit stronger the line didn't break on me when i went fishing the other day with it so yeah i like this line i'd recommend getting some of that but you don't have to i would at least get you can get cheap line from walmart i don't really recommend it but like I said, we're keeping it cheap. So if you really want to get cheap line from Walmart, go ahead and do it. Um, last but definitely not least is your 12 and one multi-tool. You don't have to get the 12 and one, but this has like uh, long nose pliers, standard pliers, a wire cutter, a knife, screwdriver, anything that you're going to need when you're fishing for fish or to cut anything, cut your line, anything like that is on here. Uh, it's the Ozark Trail ran. Like I said, I've used Ozark Trail with other stuff, just not lures. But uh, I definitely, I've had one of these before. As long as you keep it put up, it's not going to rust. It's, I mean, I, I, you can't beat it. It's five dollars. Has everything you need. Nice pliers. So if you gut hook, gut, gut hook a fish, you can get it out with these pliers. You always got to have pliers with you because if not, then um, I mean, you can kill fish that way. So it's better to have have your multi tool and a. Uh, that tackle box I showed you is gonna have a spot that you can just slide that in. Um, that's really everything that I have. I'd recommend buying a scale. I didn't buy one because I already ordered one. It'll be here next Friday. If y'all want a review on that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, this is a $200 Bass Pro Walmart uh, Mystery Tackle Box Challenge. I didn't all this stuff that you seen. I didn't spend no more than $200 on. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe and. Uh, yeah, have a nice day.